Hey, yeah, how's it going? So let's see here. Let's say I have a joint chain. So let me just go over to rigging and just create something which has some random orientations on it. Something like this, right? Um, so what I would do is with your control, let's see if your control curve, again, using a similar hierarchy to what I have here. So just two groups on top of it. And typically the way I label this is, you know, you'd have your uh, connect, you'd have your orient, and then you'd have the control, whatever that may be. So all you need to do is parent well, the easiest thing to do is if this is at origin still, all you have to do is parent it to the joint. And then that will automatically throw some values here on the connect group. Zero it out. Now, um, and then just unparent it. Oops, but let me get out of there first. And then you just unparent it, so shift key. So now you've got this guy, which is perfectly aligned to the orientation of the joint, right? So this is the joints orientation. This is the groups orientation. And that control, which is all zeroed out, is perfectly aligned to everything as well, right? So this connect group has values, but you don't remove those values. That's the beauty of the connect group, or the purpose, I should say, of the connect group. It's just to filter values. So by the time you get down to the orient, which is something that might have expressions or direct connections, uh, it might be driven by something else, and then which is zeroed out. And then you have your control, which is also zeroed out. So again, if I were to duplicate this and do it again, right? So or maybe twice more, right? So we have our our connect group. So again, that would just get parented under under the controller. You would zero out the values, and then you just unparent it. And then if I were to do it for the last one down here which is this guy. So same thing, right? So you just select that, parent it, zero the values. If I can, there we go. And then you just unparent it, right? So, so now you've got all three of these that are perfectly aligned to their, their corresponding joints. And then if you needed to put a, these into a hierarchy of any kind, you just open these up. If you shift click on the plus signs, you can open up the entire hierarchy. Right, so, and then I, I would just kind of string them one to the next. So basically the connect is a connect node because you connect it to uh, the con something above it in the hierarchy. So that and typically would go to the control. And then this one would go to this control. So now you've got, you know, a perfectly, whoops, I did it wrong. <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, what control is this one? Oh, that's this guy. Yeah, okay, let me do this again. So shift control these ones. It would have been help, helpful if I started in order, right? <laughs> All right, so this one goes to the middle one. And then this one goes to this one, right? So now we have our FK hierarchy where everything stays in alignment. And then if I wanted to, I could then, you know, just parent the joints to the corresponding controls. And everything will stay perfectly aligned. Right, so now we have our perfect kind of aligned uh, control grouping. All right, that was fairly short. Hopefully that was useful.